All right, it's the second night of Big Brother Canada and we have our first eviction and really our first look into ga the gameplay and how the house is going to kind of start to slowly get divided as we progress forward. Well, we might as well start right off with the eviction. Uh, Julie gets sent home and, you know, I think that this is a case of it's just your own damn fault. Uh, as much as I wanted to see and hear Julie's story more uh, and, and learn more about her, you know, when it comes to this game and every time you get a piece of information, you got to go blab it to other people, that is going to immediately make people not trust you. And that's what Julie did. And ultimately, that's what led to her going home. <clears throat> For me... The key conversation that really backfired on Julie was when uh, Josh had told her that LaToya had mentioned Julie as a potential target and Julie went to confront LaToya and LaToya wanted nothing to do with it. You know, there was no talking it out. There was no LaToya getting sucked into uh, Julie's, Julie's whole spiel and, and, and shtick there. Uh, Latoya had no time for it and I think that that was the turning point that was like people were already talking about Julie before then but I think that's what sealed the deal you know I thought that the vote was maybe going to be a little bit closer between Julie and Josh but uh, I think the uh, the final count was 11 to 2 um, very much everyone on board with sending Julie home as the first uh, evictee. So <clears throat> that's it. We are into the game. The game is on now. Uh, also, the live feeds, they will be starting tonight, bigbrothercanada.ca. If you want even more Big Brother, you know, these one-hour episodes, especially to start the season, feel a little light. Um, you know, like we got that nice moment with everybody sitting together uh, and really they were talking about uh, coming out and how everybody came out, the uh, people who do have, have a coming out story. And like it's those little moments that I think help us to learn who all of these house, house guests are and, uh, you know, start to find who we really connect with. Um, it's not not the competitions. It's not, it's not the, the, all, all the uh, voting and whatnot. It's, it's those, those moments when we're actually seeing them be them. And I really appreciate that. So, uh, we, I was just, was going to try to talk about the alliances were, that were forming, uh, and one being the dolls, uh, was Austin, Braden, and Julie, but that alliance has already been put to rest, uh, <laughs> Thanks to Julie getting voted out. Um, I thought that they were pretty blatant about it. You know, they're doing their little photo shoot with people all around. Uh, seemed seemed pretty ridiculous to me. Like, you have to know better than that. Um, also, we are looking at a potential boys alliance. I know we didn't really see any discussion about this. Uh, I think uh, Jetson and Tyshawn did mention very early on that they wanted to be the undercover brothers and I don't see why they wouldn't pull in Kyle and Rohan. Looked like Latoya wanted to work with Jetson and Tyshawn as well so that could be a very powerful alliance in the works and you know when you're in the house and you start to see something like that form this early on and you definitely have an opportunity to send one of those guys home, you probably should have taken that shot. Um, but unfortunately, they did not. Decided to go with the person they couldn't trust and Julie is now sitting on the outside. Uh, one thing I really, really, really liked from tonight's episode and that was the pre-vote questions that were anonymously submitted by the other house guests. I found that very illuminating and you know a lot of the questions are very direct that really put people on the spot uh, and that's very interesting to me because you know you could have now have people put in a situation where they are either feel like they have to reveal some information that they otherwise wouldn't have 
or potentially lie and have that blow up in their face later on. Uh, I, re I really like that and really hope that that is something that continues forward. You know, I don't want the, the little softball questions about something that goofy that happened in the house. I like that. Really put the people on the spot and, you know, we'll start to see some true colors start to form like with uh, how Julie just threw Josh under the bus. Um, it was very illuminating to me heading into that vote and I really wasn't expecting uh, 11 to 2 to kick Julie out. I thought Josh was probably going to be our guy going home. So uh, yeah, it matters. Um, one last thing before we end the video for tonight, slop. Just stop it. Like it's gross. It's disgusting. Like I know it's a it's a big brother tradition, but let's just put that in the past. It's awful. Like what like it's it's just eh, I hate it. That's all I gotta say. I hate it. And I don't want to see slop in the show uh anymore because uh I don't think that what people are eating should uh, be a factor in the show or have any impact on the show. I think there's other more uh, fun ways to give people punishments and whatnot, uh, including, you know, like the, the have not room that we haven't really seen yet this year um, that I think is going to be uh, very enjoyable moving forward. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight. First eviction, Julie goes home. I don't know what's in store for the rest of the week for Big Brother, but the live feeds will be up tonight, bigbrothercanada.ca. So if you wanna go check that out, go for it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later.